Frankfurt High School in Philadelphia is no different than any other inner city school. You've got to be tough to get by. Hurry up, get that jacket and sweater off. But here, the toughest dude in the halls is a 64-year-old woman, right, and go. she's selling cookies. Right, how about some cookies? Meet Wilma Stephenson, culinary arts teacher, who can make the most demanding part of the day, icing cakes. Come on, let's go, get the jackets on, wash your hands. I expect them to respect themselves and me in return. I told you about wearing boots in my classroom, girls. When they come into my class, they have to be on time. Fix your chef jackets. Look professional. They have to have the school uniform. They have to, no gum, no book bag, no hoodie, no big earrings. You cut my class yesterday. Were you in a fight? Because you got a black eye. Had you been in school, you wouldn't have been beat up. While the iron fist always seems ready to cuff her students in the back of their heads. Because you need some new friends. Who will be her friend? The velvet nice glove kid. is never too far away. Look at all these nice kids. All you are nice. I don't know about you. Somebody has to tell them that they are number one. That is so good. This is exactly the way it's supposed to be. See how she went up? That's, be that's much better than mine. Oh, you go, girl. That's what I tell them all the time. You are number one. Now, this ain't no ghetto looking cake. So don't even try to act like this is like you don't have some type of creativity. You seem like you could scare a Paris Island drill sergeant. <laughs> and you also are sweet and loving. Which is it? Well, I guess I'm both. I guess I'm both. I don't know, honey, but you're doing good for being left-handed. I set my expectations you're doing really good. very high. And I, don't, I tell everybody, you do not have the right to fail my class. You do not have the right. You have to come up to my expectations. As seen in the documentary Pressure Cooker. Taste even when you don't want to taste. Make sure the judges see you tasting. Miss Stephenson's top expectation is for her kids to learn to cook well enough to win big scholarship bucks at the citywide cooking competition. When we walk into a competition, I know they're walking out with a lot of money. I already know. A lot of money. A classroom chart of last year's winners is designed to inspire this year's students. Like 93,000, 81,000, Kadisha for um, uh, Taliba got 81,000. Shantae ended up with 139,500. In other Your words, kids last year ended up winning $637,000 in scholarships? Yes. That is a lot of money. Yeah, thank goodness, because they don't have any. <laughs> they don't have any money. They need every bit they can get. Fatumata Dembele. Two years ago, Fatumata Dembele won $61,200. She came here four years ago from Africa. And she not only... She's now at Monroe College, just outside New York City, and cooking at an upscale Manhattan restaurant called Ringo. If I have not taken her class, I don't know what my life would be at this point because there's, there wouldn't be no chance of me going to college. If you put the icing around, it's all going to come out the other way. and It's going to be a sloppy mess, and then I'm going to have to get on you. Yes, Wilma Stephenson is cooking up quite a story in inner city Philadelphia, sending dozens of kids to college who otherwise would have no way to go by teaching them in her kitchen how to live their lives. You need some new friends, sweetheart, because you're really going up the wrong road, okay? Just hang with me, I'm gonna help you get on the right one. You cannot find her at every corner, you cannot find her at every school. So that's something that I'm proud Ready? to be part of. Fine. She's a, a hero. She's somebody I really honestly and truly believe that I look up to her as a hero and You wanna put the bottom border on first! Such a powerful okay. word, hero. Stop! Stop! Do not rest your hand down on the surface. Lift it up, that's your problem, man. Which Get seems entirely lost right on now. Wilma Stephenson. You want everything in its place. What's, the, what's, what's that mean? Who may just be yelling a bit too loudly to hear it. I never think about that. I, I, I really don't, I just don't. This is what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to come here every morning at 5.30. I'm supposed to guide my students and I'm supposed to teach them life. Not, not necessarily culinary arts, life. I love you. Are oh, you love me too? <laughs> Mise en plus. I said it four trillion times. Mise en plus, what's it mean? Everything in its place. Make sure everything is in its place before you begin. 